Third now. <laughs> Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Karen Yan and I'm from National Zhao Tong University uh, in Taiwan. And All right. Um, would you like to? Oh, yeah. hey, this stood for a pesticide, regardless of its um, proven harmful effects. And that made a huge impact that. All right, um, I think we should start. Um, hello everyone, this is as having some kind of a, a big thanks, a huge thanks to all of the organized society for the philosophy of science here. Uh, and there never seemed to be quite enough of a, a critical mass. Uh, there were a few very senior people, there weren't really enough junior people, and I feel like that all now seems to be changing. As some of you know, uh, most of my work is in general philosophy of science, and hence again, for example, that's the very initiative. To, uh, the president-elect for International Society for uh, History, Philosophy, and Social Sciences of Biology. Um, so thank you very much. It's a real enormous pleasure to be here. And um, indeed, in many ways, dream come true to be able to come to India, come to Bangalore, and see a meeting where we can talk about philosophy, broadly speaking, some kind of form of measurement, and the big... Um, welcome back, everyone. Uh, so for our next session, um, we're going to have uh, Sean-Colin Mate, uh, recently Dr. Sean-Colin Mate, who is, uh, well, I shouldn't say from IIT Bombay anymore, but very recently of IIT Bombay, who's just completed his PhD. Uh, he's going to be talking about uh, Loudon's Meta Methodology of Science. Uh, Hi, everyone. Uh, this is going to be my first talk right after my uh, PhD. So my bit of nervous to use my title as doctors for the first time. Yeah, the title of my talk is uh, Loudon Meta Methodology of Science, Ethical, Ethical Appraises. So the order of, of, of the presentation is contextualizing the problems, underlying of Loudon's normative naturalisms, scientific normativity as social conventions, and conclusions. Yeah, contextualizing the problems of the talks. When we look at scientific normativity, we talk about norms concerning the right thing to do or beliefs. In this talk, we will look at two major <coughs> positions on scientific normativity. The first one is the, cat the categorical or the universal positions. The second one is the pluralist or instrumental positions to look at our problems. And we look at this loud and this, uh, because in this uh, theory, we can uh, find the gaps for, for further studies in which we say that, yeah, we can look at this Lewis theory of conventions to resolve some kind of uh, issues that arises out of this debate. And if we look at this, the whole thing in scientific methodology, methodology at work as scientific system or experiments the right thing to do or believe. In this talk, we will look at two major <coughs> positions on scientific normativity. The first one is the cat categorical or the universal positions. The second one is the pluralist or instrumental positions. ...bodies uh, are working with. So, we can talk a lot about how great this is, they are for scientists, but we can also ask ourselves whether we might is this model of psychiatry should be assuming that all um, yeah they will be for joining us uh, online um, so yeah this is the final session of the day um, unfortunately we couldn't have professor Lidium here in person but he's generously agreed to give the talk online so I'll hand it over to him yeah please go ahead Thanks very much. I'm very sorry not to be there in person. I'm going to talk about, how long do I have, by the way? About 45 minutes? Yeah, yeah. 
That's right. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to talk about materialism, physicalism, and the unity of science. Actually, I'm also going to talk about empiricism as well, and the relationship between materialism and empiricism and realism. So I'd just like to thank the organizers and various people that I've thought about these issues. Tarun, I thank you everyone. Thank you for having me here. I apologize for the delay. I have been in Bangalore for a while, but I, uh, it always surprises me how far away this campus is from civilization. <laughs> but, uh, so I was telling Tarun that next time I accept uh, an invitation, I'm going to remember how long it takes just to get here. But uh, it's, uh, it, I'm, I am happy to be here. And I begin, I am uh, not a student uh, of philosophy. I, I work on climate change uh, policy, uh, energy modeling, etc. So, um, you know. Now, Barrett's team are, however, correct uh, to say that depression can damage the body with satisfaction. So, Tarski's method formulated a scientific um, foundation for the domain of semantics. But after the talk is done, uh, so closing out our portraits is Abel uh, Thomas Alex, who uh, uh, is presenting on model organisms. Uh, we'll also have a discussant uh, for this paper. So after Abel presents his talk, Sabina will give some comments, and, and then we'll open it up for discussion. Okay, go ahead. I'll be exploring the similarities between model organisms and theoretical models. And just to give you uh, an outline of the paper, um, what I've done is focus on a debate in the literature regarding model organisms and theoretical models. So I'll be summarizing that debate and then presenting my sort of uh, sort of my own analysis on that. Um, so models 